Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message. Um, had a great weekend around York City. Uh, just a beautiful weekend, a little bit of rain, but uh, um, had a great time down at the uh, Cadoras Creek Fire and uh, also at the uh, Trey and Boo Classic over the weekend. I wanted to thank the organizers, you know, Wayne Scott and Jamil and uh, Proc, and also wanted to thank the uh, staff uh, at, uh, and the administration at York High for allowing them to use uh, the York High Gym as a, as a rain uh, location on, on Saturday. Uh, but it was just another absolute great event and thanks to all the people that came out and all the supporters and uh, I do want to clear up a little thing that uh, well it's not a little thing but the, uh, the connection to uh, Trey and Boo uh, um, that was an inaccuracy um, I heard some some folks saying that in, at, uh, a shooting happened out there and, and that wasn't the case we did have a, a very sad shooting out on Lafayette Street at the same time as the event was going on um, but uh, there's no evidence that it had anything to do with the uh, Train Boo Classic. It was, you know, it was completely on the other side of the park. Um, but it is another um, very, very sad act of act of violence that uh, shows that we need to be doing more to try and uh, redirect our young people into uh, some positive things. There was also another very sad uh, thing yesterday, um, kind of near the other corner of the park, and. Uh, that was uh, that uh, another person riding illegally on uh, on a motorcycle, doing wheelies through the city, uh, got killed. And uh, um, you know, it's I, I don't know what we can do to try and make people understand how dangerous and, and horrible this is. Not just for the people that are riding the motorcycles, but for the people that are uh, being terrorized by by these folks coming through. Um, you know, this is two deaths in, in less than three years. How are we going to, when are we going to learn when, you know, can the parents stop this? Can the peers stop this? This is an extremely, extremely dangerous thing. I, you know, I see it on the highways. I see it all around. And, and it's really sad uh, to see young people just ripped from us for doing something that they think is fun or, or uh, um, you know, whether they're being rebels or whatever. Um, Anyhow, we are going to try something um, tomorrow night, actually, at York High is the uh, first Peace and Opportunity Summit for York City. And uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be meeting at York High at 5 o'clock tomorrow. I want people to know this isn't a meeting for people to come and talk about violence. We are not going to be talking about violence in the neighborhoods. We are going to be trying to uh, solve some of it right here. Uh, we are going to have, we're asking people that are uh, involved in violence to come. We have, you know, I'm asking people's moms, cousins, neighbors, anybody that cares about them, bring them to this event and uh, we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to sit down and have a meal together and then we've got employers that are going to be offering people jobs right there. Um, we know that um, we know that unemployment's high and people feel like they have to struggle for money sometimes, but um, you know, unemployment isn't really high. It's high in the city still, and this is a problem. That's why we're bringing these job providers in and, and saying, look, you don't have to live this way. You don't have to live a life where you're constantly looking over your shoulder or uh, you know, doing, doing wrong to try and make your life what you think is right. It doesn't have to be this way. Um, so I hope that people will come out Again, I don't want people to come out to talk. If you have somebody that needs to hear the message and needs an opportunity, we're also going to be talking about scholarships for trade schools and, and trying to sign people up for trade schools and, and even college, whatever we can, whatever we can do uh, to try and give a better direction for, for the young people in this city and try and move them away from this crazy violence. Um, as I always say, none of us, there's only a handful of, of people in this city that want to a violent city. None of the rest of us do. So please take your, take your child or your nephew or niece or your neighbor, or friends, take them by the hand and, and bring them and uh, join us tomorrow at York High. Uh, we'll enter in at the uh, uh, college and Pershing entrance. Uh, there will be no cops at the event. This is, um, this is not a setup. This is just to give 
young people opportunities to change their lives. So I hope that, that folks will come out at 5 o'clock tomorrow at York High. Um, wanted to give an update. I hear a lot about absentee landlords. And uh, I want to assure people that uh, we are doing what we can to crack down on the absentee landlords. Um, we just got a we just got a, a set or not a settlement a decision from a judge uh, twenty five hundred dollars in fines against an absentee landlord from out of state. Um, we're we're excited that that pushing on these landlords, we can either uh, get them in line or hopefully run them out of the city. Um, we, there's no room in this city for, for landlords that are, um, that are mistreating tenants that aren't keeping up their properties. So, uh, um, you know, we are going to be pushing on that. Um, we also, I want to let everybody know that there is another, uh, there's another clean, clean sweep going on on the south end, southwest side of the city. Uh, so... If you want to save yourself some problems, get out there today. It's a beautiful day. Get out there tonight and clean up your yards, uh, you know, clean up any trash that's around your property, make sure your lawn's mowed, uh, because we're going to be out and inspecting the area from uh, cottage to college and uh, that whole uh, southwest side of the city. Um, so let's, uh, let's get your cleaned up, and uh, we've got a lot of great opportunities. Um, I'm going to be going out um, out to Missouri here in a couple weeks, um, so I'm going to be out of the office for a little bit, uh, but I'm going to a uh, mayor's conference on entrepreneurship, and I'm going to be learning more ideas from all around the country on how we can promote uh, new businesses, how we can promote entrepreneurs, and uh, how we can um, also get money um, within our neighborhoods, uh, startup businesses, uh, make sure that we're getting money uh, into the into the hands of the people that live here in the city of York. We don't just want businesses that are coming in and then the money is being made by people that don't live here. We want our people. We want the people in York City to be making money and uh, building businesses so that uh, we're all supporting our community. So uh, I'm going to be learning more on how to do that and uh, hopefully bring some really good new ideas back. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a really nice week. Uh, hope to see you around New York City. Have a good one.